Hello and welcome to DIY Day. I spent a disgusting amount of time on TikTok and some of the most satisfying videos to watch because sometimes ASMR just gives me the crepes. The sound of someone eating upsets me <laughs> greatly. <laughs> you know what just tickles that same calming reaction that some people get from ASMR, but like for me, when people have appointment days, they go get their hair done and their nails done and they get a facial and they go do all the things and it sounds like the best day ever. But guess who can't do that? I mean, technically I guess I could, but holy crap, that would be the most expensive day ever. Plus I do everything myself. Like I do my hair extensions myself. I do my gel X myself. I do my own lash extensions. I do my own tan. All for me. So welcome to my appointment day where I'm gonna be doing literally everything I just said. First, I'm gonna be doing my own hair extensions. They grow out so well. I'm like kind of good at it. I'm not gonna lie. I've had a lot of hair extension specialists, cosmetologists look at it and they're like, Wow, you actually did that? That's not bad. Is it amazing? Probably not. They always say, wow, that's not bad. Like in a shocked way, like they mean it. Like it's not bad. Not bad for free. So anyway, the girl looks pretty good. The hair is from Jay-Z Styles. Right now my hair is so disgustingly dry. So I'm gonna move up my extensions and then I'm probably going to do an everything shower and do a nice deep conditioning and then also shave because I'm gonna tan. Really quick, let me show you what I'm gonna use. I've used Jay-Z hair for years, love it. And then I have this commitment kit from Jay-Z Styles. It has everything I need. Pliers, bead removing pliers, two pairs of scissors. I used to have two threaders. I broke both of them. And then I bought two of these at Cabela's. They don't work well because they were meant for fish, but they were $2. And then I have gone back to Jay-Z and since bought new little threaders. That's really all you need for extensions. Oh, except for, of course, you will need the beads. I just get the Jay-Z beads. You can go into your garage and find pliers that would work and then go to Sally's and get beads. And you don't even need to remove the beads. You don't even need one of these special ones. I have lots of clips. And then I have Jay-Z Styles. Thread. I will die in my 90s before I use this whole wheel of thread. Currently, I only have one row of extensions and one row is the best because it's so comfortable. You can barely feel it. It's so easy. Like if I'm trying to keep my hair really healthy, one row is the best because then I can like go in the shower and do deep conditioning treatments on all of this hair up here and then easily section out my one row of extensions and do deep conditioning treatments on all the hair down here. You know what I mean? It's just so easy and all i'm gonna do is you can see up in here i have all my little beads take my pliers and just pop open the bead like that pull the bead out and that's it and when you take all the beads out you can just pull the hair right out and you can see a little bit of like product build up i also have this you would need this for extensions too this is the open relationship kit from jay-z also and this is my needles and then just pull it out like this you could also like, if you go into a salon, a lot of the times I think what they'll do is, cause there's, this is like sewn into your hair with like a needle and thread. I think a lot of the times what they'll do is they'll cut the thread, take it out, take it off, and then take the beads out. Um, the thing is I'm doing this behind my head. I'm not taking scissors back there. So I take the beads out and then I just pull it off. This is my hair without extensions. Uh, honestly, it's pretty healthy. Considering that I used to have black hair and then I like fried it all off going blonde, it's stepping on hair and beads and it's driving me crazy. Okay, so now we're just gonna put my hair back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to section it where I want it, which by now is super easy because I like to put it relatively in the same spot. I drew a line with my fingers and now I'm just gonna go through with a comb and then I'm just going to make sure that it's perfectly, that the part is perfectly clean. It helps to do this when your hair is a little bit dirty because then it kind of sticks to itself more. Like if my hair was perfectly clean, like I might have some flyaways or whatever, but, and then when I get to the back of my head, I do have a mirror. I would probably try to go no more forward than like right here. Okay, I have this threefold mirror from Ikea. You can see my counter and my tripods and stuff. I put this on the counter because there's a mirror behind you like the big vanity mirror. So hello. So I put like my little mirror right here. I stick my head in here mm -hmm. <laughs> so that I can see all corners of my head. So I'm gonna take my threader now. I'm gonna put the beads on it. It's a little hard <laughs> with how long my nails are getting, but you just like put the bead through the threader and you don't know, maybe use like 20, I don't know. I've never counted. I would guesstimate 20. And then they can just 
hang out at the bottom. And then basically what you're gonna do, take your rat tooth comb, take a square of hair, not this big. It's like a microscopic version. I'm just doing it big so you can see. Put it through the wire like this. And then you take one itty little bead and you pull it through. And when you use a small appropriate amount of hair and not my large chunk as an example, it'll go through and you will end up with a little bead on your hair. And then you're gonna take these little pliers and clamp it shut and that's it. And then you do it like 20 times around your head and that's it. So I'll do that like 20 more times, just all around. You could put a little bitty bitty bead on it. And then I'm gonna crush it. Okay, you can see the back of my head. I have all my beads done. I ordered dinner. I ordered dinner. I was gonna order Cafe Rio. Shut, I can't speak. Hello, I was gonna order Chipotle, but I ended up ordering Cafe Rio. I got a salad, but I'm gonna eat it in my bed. I am so sad that my dinner break is over because I woke up so early and I'm so tired. I'm just gonna, um, I just take this and clip it to my head and brush it. So I just basically rest this on top of the beads. I'm gonna adjust one of these beads, clip it so it stays there. I have a video dedicated, I'm like getting really tired. I have a video dedicated to how you install them. Um, so I won't go too much into detail on the method of sewing them. So I'll hook it underneath my hair. And then the most important part is you have this thread from the previous stitch on one side, then you have the needle, and then you have the thread from the back end of the needle right here. So the needle's going between those two pieces of thread. Does that make sense? And then pull it straight up and secure it just like that. But that's all you do for the rest of your head. Honestly, I've gotten so used to not seeing it that I really do so much of it with my hands. I am sweaty. While I do this, I'll tell you about my trip to Portugal. We went because my husband turned 30 and him and I travel very differently. If you saw my like vlog on TikTok, my little travel vlog, there is a difference in my opinion between a vacation and a trip. You have your trips where you're going someplace with a mission to like go see something or do certain things and it's really busy. Like you go to Paris and you go see all the monuments and you're running around and it's not a relaxing vacation, it is a trip. Or you go to the beach and you don't really do much. You just kind of lay there, enjoy the weather, that's a vacation. He's a beach vacation guy. I am a big city trip kind of gal, but he also loves golf and he wanted to golf on his birthday. We decided to go to Southern Portugal to the Algarve because apparently they have amazing golfing there. It took a long time to get there actually, but basically we had a direct flight from Las Vegas to Amsterdam. They board half of the plane and then they stop boarding and this guy comes over the like intercom or starts yelling. He's like, hey, like you guys can just like sit down. We're not boarding anymore. And everyone's like, sorry, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> and he's like, it's too hot to leave. It's 2 p.m. It's not even peak heat yet. Peak heat in Vegas is like late in the afternoon, which I think is so bizarre. But what had happened was the air was so thin because of the heat, the plane was too heavy to leave. So they couldn't put enough gas in the plane to get us to Amsterdam. So they only filled up the plane with enough gas, jet fuel, to get us to Ireland. Putting the rest of the gas in the plane would have made the plane too heavy to leave. Isn't that weird? And then we were there for a few days and Vegas has ruined me because it was like mid seventies, I think, maybe even pushing 80 degrees in the Algarve and I was cold. I finished, tied it, took the clips out and here we are. So let's brush it and see how this hair looks. It looks fine. I keep a real tidy ship around here. I'm now gonna give myself a facial. We went to the hair salon per se. Now I'm gonna get a facial per se. I'm gonna do the sheet mask that I got from Target. I'm gonna give myself a little tinkle razor. I'm gonna use this face oil and then I'm gonna take an everything shower. Oh. This is the slugging one, I think. Sheet masks used to never be my thing. I don't know why, maybe because as a child, I would always buy them from Forever 21. So I thought that I hated them because I just used crappy Forever 21 ones. But then I bought a sheet mask at the store once just for fun because I was with my friends. It was one of those like Hello Kitty <laughs> stores that they have at the mall and I loved it. Okay, I'm gonna take this off now. Good morning, I'm pissed.
takes off. <laughs> okay, so I did my hair. Look how shiny. And then I did my facial with my little tinkle razor and then I took a shower. I took an everything shower, shaved my legs, whatever. Got out of the shower, self-tanned. I've been self-tanning consistently for 10 years. I know what I'm doing. I was on TikTok and I saw makeup by Michaela use this self-tanner that I'd never heard of. It's called Dulce Glow. This is not the reason that I'm mad. <laughs> I vacuumed my tan looks so bad. It's not because of this. I have never tanned worse. I don't know what was going through my mind last night. Look at this. It has a huge streak right here. It, this part might rinse off in the shower. That's not that big of a deal, but I'm just like, what? Rena, what? Okay, so this is before, okay. Okay, let's go rinse it off. Okay, here it is. In the after. So that's a good before and after. This is um medium dark. So now I'm gonna do my lash extensions and then we're gonna do my nails. These are pearl lashes, these are my favorite ones. I honestly haven't tried a lot of other ones because I don't care to because I love these ones. So these are classic. This is my favorite style. My favorite big style. It's called Volume Lux XL. They're a lot bigger. They're so pretty, but like for day to day, I think I just prefer. Oh, but those are so pretty. You can see the difference. That's what both of them look like. These are 10 day lash extensions. Good morning. I've been up since three. Uh, I'm here, we got nails to do. I'm sorry, I'm like waiting for the Advil to kick in because I have the worst, <laughs> I have the worst headache. I was trying to decide what to do with my nails. This is what they were before. Yeah, so I decided I'm gonna do comic book nails. So let's do that. Everything I use is on my Amazon storefront. Everything's from Amazon. I'm just going to shave off the color. I think you could soak the color off too, but, but then you have to let it soak for longer. I just think it's easier to just shave off the color. Plus I think it's satisfying. The nice thing about using gel -X tips is if you're using one of these, you need to be really careful that you don't drill into your real nail because you could drill through your real nail into your finger and that would really, really hurt. But what's nice about gel -X nails is you can't really file through them. I mean, you probably could if you did it long enough. So I just took off the polish on this hand. Okay, I'm back, I'm doing my nails. I'm feeling a lot better. I haven't been feeling well the last few days. So let's finally finish my nails. But I took all of the tips off. Then what I did is I took a little sanding band, roughed up the nail bed, just a teensy, teensy, weensy little bit. And then I used this protein bond. I don't really know what it does, but every single nail person I've ever been to uses this. And then I used this primer and my nails went from dull like this to shiny like this. And then I'm just gonna put my tips on. I'll show you how I do that, but that's what it looks like when it's done. I just did my first one. Okay, I'm using the medium almond shape from Gel -X. I'm going to put a thin layer of nail glue on my finger. And then you're going to put a blob of glue right at the base of your, the nail. I put this away from the UV light and I turn this on now. So what you're gonna do is press this onto your cuticle and then you're just gonna press it down. I'm not looking at what I'm doing, <laughs> but you'll see that it should squeeze all the way to your fingertip. Yeah, that looks good. So now we're three nails in, looking pretty nice. I'm gonna keep going. Just finished. I did flash cure in here for like 10 seconds. So I'm gonna do like a minute in here. They're ready for paint. I just finished gluing them on. And then like I said, I did a sanding bit to rough up the top part. Now I'm ready to paint and I'm excited. I think I'm gonna pour myself a nice Diet Coke. It's 8.30 in the morning, but that's okay because there was a cricket in my bedroom last night. I already laid out my colors. We're gonna do yellow, blue, pink, green, orange. Step one, I did these colors. I love these colors. Oh, I could leave it just like that and it would be so cute. So the first step of comic book is to make a little shadow like that. So I'm gonna take a nail art pen. These are the Beatles ones on Amazon and do it like a few shades darker than the color that you're doing. You just kind of like make a line like that. before and after with the shadows. I just wanna reiterate, not a nail tech. I am just a girl in my kitchen trying to mimic what I've seen professionals do. Basically what we're gonna do after this is done cooking, we're gonna outline the nail in black. 
very thinly. So once you do your little outline, you're just gonna do a teensy little line just like that. I just finished the black on all of my nails. So now what I'm doing is a little white L that looks like this. So on the opposite side of that little black line, you're gonna just do a little white line in the corner like and that. And then on the top of that L, you're just gonna do a little dot, except on this finger, nope, this finger, I did a little hidden Mickey because I'm going to Disneyland on Friday. And then the last step is to do a matte top coat. That was my appointment day. Thank you so much for watching. And then here's an update on the tan. Let me take let me take my top off. I feel like it's lasted pretty well. It's not quite as dark as I like to self tanners. I like them to be a little bit more tan. The color that I picked was medium dark, so it makes sense that it was a little bit more on the medium side. But for my day, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As a reminder, I'm not a cosmetologist. I can answer them friend to friend off the record. Tips and tricks from your DIY friend, not tips and tricks from a licensed cosmetologist. If you want it done well, get it done professionally. Bye.